Hello everyone, welcome back and today we are looking at question 136 which is single number. So we are given a non-empty array of integers, it's called nums, and every element in this array appears twice except for one and we want to return that single number. In other words, our array contains one unique value and all other values are duplicated and they want us to implement a solution with linear runtime in other words the time complexity would be a big O of n and we want to use constant space so the space complexity big O of 1 so looking at example 1 we see the array nums contains 2 2 1 we said the array will contain one unique value in this case it's 1 and we can see that 2 is duplicated now in example 2 we see that nums contains 4 1 2 1 2 in this case 4 is the unique value and 1 is duplicated and 2 is also duplicated now 3 contains one number which is 1 and in this case it's the only number so it's unique so we return 1 in example 1 we return 1 it's the unique value in example 2 4 is the unique value in example 3 one is the unique value. Now, usually when I see a question that asks for unique values or that say we have duplicates, I immediately think of two things. One, it's a hash set, since the hash set does not allow any duplicate values. And number two, I think of exclusive or. Now in this case, they want to use constant space. So we cannot use a hash set. In this case, I will use an exclusive or. So why is that? Let me show you and let me give you a quick review of an exclusive or operation. Here we are in the blackboard and as you can see, I have um, written exclusive or and if you want to know, we denote it like this. This is, this means exclusive or. So now I have drawn a table with number A and number B and since we are talking about exclusive or, it's a bit wise operation means that we will use it with binary numbers. What is binary? It means we only have zero and one as numbers. It's binary, okay? So now we have two numbers, A and B, and I have draw a table to find the combinations between them. So A can be zero, one, and B can zero, one, and this table shows the combinations between these two numbers. So I want you to notice that in exclusive or the only way to get the number one in binary is if the two numbers that we apply exclusive or to are different. In other words, we can see that one and zero are different. So A exclusive or with B will give us a one here. And now zero exclusive or with one will give us a one. They are different. But now look, if we say zero exclusive or zero, this will be zero and one exclusive or one this will also be a zero as you can see the only way to get a one is if the number a or number b are different so this is the first thing we need to know okay but what if i tell you what is two exclusive or with three it's not binary anymore well it's the same idea you will take this two and convert it to binary and now three in binary is one one now we apply the exclusive or to him and now we have binary zero and one are different so the answer would be one one xor with one one and one the same so the answer is zero in other words two xor with three will give us zero one but zero one in binary corresponds to one so two xor three equals one now why i am saying this well let me show you something we said that if the two numbers are the same the answer would be zero so what is two xor with 2. What is 3 xor with 3? Well, they should give us 0 because we said if the two numbers are the same, the answer would be 0. So let's check 2 xor 2. We said 2 in binary is 1 0. What is the other 2? It's also 1 0. Let's take the xor. 0 and 0 the same, the answer is 0. 1 and 1 the same, the answer is also 0. As you can see, 0 0. Okay, let's check 3. 3 is 1 1. The other three is one one. Take the exclusive or one and one the same. So the answer would be zero. One and one the same. So the answer is zero. As we can see, if the two numbers are the same and we take the exclusive or, the result would be zero. So this is 
rule number one that I want you to keep in your mind. A, exclusive or with A, will always be zero. This is rule number one. Okay, now going into rule number two. If I said, hey, what is three exclusive or with zero? Or what is two X or with zero? What is the answer? Well, let's check. If we said three, it's one, one. Zero, it's zero. Take exclusive or, what is one X or with zero? It's one. What is one X or with zero? It's also one, it's right here. And what is one, one in binary? Well, it's three. Focus on this, it's three. Okay, what is two X or with zero? Well, two is one, zero. Zero is zero. Take the X or, zero with zero are the same. The answer is zero. 1 and 0 are different, so the answer is 1. But what is 1 and 0 in binary? Well, it's 2. Okay? So basically, rule number 2 tells you if you XORD any number with 0, the result would be that number. So rule number 2 says that if A XORD with 0, the result would be A. Okay? These are extremely important for any bit a manipulation question also note that exclusive or is both commutative and associative okay it's so important so three we have a x or b equals b x or a and now four a x or b x or c equals a x or b x or c these are so important we will use them in the solution. This was the review for the XOR. So now let's look at the question. Okay, so I have wrote an array that has one, two, two, one, four. And we can see that four is the unique value. One is duplicated, two is also duplicated. So now how can we find four using XOR and knowing these four properties? Now we said if we XOR the number with itself, it will give us zero. And if we XOR this number with zero, we will get the same number. Now we can use that in the array, since they told us that we only have one unique value, which is 4, and all other numbers are duplicated, or each number appears twice. We know that 1 will appear twice, and we know that 2 will appear twice. So now, looking at this rule, a x or a equals 0, we know that 1 x or with 1 will be 0, we know 2 x or with 2 will be 0, and we said anything x or with 0 will be the same. So 0 x or with 4 will be 4. So the idea is we want to x or all the numbers in the array. So 1 x or with 2 x or with 2 x or with 1 x or with 4. This will result something. But now you might say we have the one here but the other one there. But remember this and this. x or is both commutative and associative. So we can rearrange these numbers to look like this. 1, x or with 1, x or with 2, x or with 2, x or with 4. Basically, you can place the numbers in different places and it will hold true since it's both associative and commutative. So now, what is 1, x or with 1? It's 0. And now what is 2, x or with 2? It's 0. What is 0, x or 0? It's 0. And finally, what is 0, x or 4? And 0, x or 4 is 4. So this is the idea. We want to XOR all the numbers in the array. Let's go to lead code and code the solution out. We said we will loop through all the numbers and take the XOR. So for int num inside of nums, we will take the XOR between all the numbers. But we need to start somewhere. How can we do that? Well, I will make a variable x, so int x equals 0. And I will say x equals x x or with num. Now, why I said x equals zero? Well, zero x or with anything will give us that number. So initially, when we start here, we will say okay, x is zero. We will say x equals x x or with num. What is zero x or with two? It's two. So now x equals 2, and now the process continues. Oh, what is 2 x or with 2? 2 x or 2 is 0. Now what is 0 x or with 1? 0 x or with 1 is 
one. So at the end, just return x. So let's run the code. Let's submit. Okay, so looking at the time and space complexity, starting with the space complexity, we did not use anything. Um, so the space is constant, then go of one. Now time complexity, we use the for loop to loop through all the numbers in the array and we XOR them together. Assuming we have n numbers in the array, the time complexity would be bing o of n. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Best of luck to you and see you in the next one.